Hi, this is Carol Phil Dahlstrom, and today we're going to show you how to make some very nice little note cards using pressed flowers. All you need is some fresh flowers that you're going to press, and then some note paper, just a piece of cardstock or anything. First, we're going to press our flowers. Use a phone book that you have, it can be one that you're using, or it can be an old phone book, but a phone book works great for pressing flowers because the paper is very absorbent. Here's our fresh flowers, we're going to use pansies today. And just lay them on the paper. Open them up the best you can, but they'll open up when you shut the, the phone book. And you can put quite a few on a page. You can use leaves, you can use flowers of any size. And now you're very carefully going to shut the phone book and mark it with a piece of paper so that you'll remember where all these different flowers are. And close the phone book. Now you can do that on lots of different pages. And then put some heavy weight on there, like some more books, and leave it for about three days. Now, we're going to move ahead and pretend it's been three days, and we'll show you what they look like after they've been pressed. Here's some pansies that have been pressed, and now all we do is when you take them off of the phone book, you're going to slide them carefully. They're fragile. They're not, they're not terribly fragile, but we're going to lay them, lay them out and get ready to make our paper, our little note paper. And we have a leaf here as well. You can, the leaves really aren't as fragile as the paper, so they pick up easily and put your phone book away and let the rest of those press. Now we just took a piece of, um, it can be note paper, it can be a piece of construction paper, scrap of paper, just fold it in half. And we're just going to make an arrangement on here using those flowers and just use a little bit of crafts glue. And you're going to lay that little flower or leaf, however you want to arrange your, your pieces and maybe you want to just do a couple to start with. And you can maybe just use one flower or many. You can write a note on the front. And you don't have to put glue all over. Just let them kind of lay there. Now, some people like to laminate these and use them for other things as well. To finish your note paper, if you want to, put a paper punch. And then thread some ribbon, just like the ribbon that we did in here, for a finished look. So you've made some really pretty little note paper using fresh flowers, pressing it in a phone book, and adding a piece of ribbon. For more information, go to our website.